charging mobile battery through noise energy. The team members are Delrin Jimmy Fitter, Dinesha D and Kirtana V from Savita Engineering College. We are being guided by Mr. A. Vijayraj and Dr. P. Lata. In today's scenario, two major problems that we face are noise and electricity. Just imagine you are on your way to some place and your phone runs out of charge. At that moment, when you are not able to plug in to charge, you can charge the battery just by shouting at your phone or through the noise in the traffic. In this video, we have illustrated the project prototype with our own components since all the components sent by Texas Instruments had booting problem. Charging mobile through noise energy. This is a circuit in which the piezoelectric sensors are connected in series. As you can see, the positive and negative ends of each sensors are connected in series. Now, the positive end of the sensor is connected to a PN diode. The PN diode avoids reverse flow of current. Now we go to the second circuit. The second circuit consists of a rechargeable battery. The rechargeable battery is used to store the energy from the piezo sensor. And then this battery is connected to a circuit which is called the charger circuit. The charger circuit consists of a grid rectifier which is used to convert AC voltage to DC voltage. Then it is given to a, uh, a capacitor which is 5 volts which is used to store and filter 12 volts into 5 volts. Then we are giving it to a bridge rectifier which is used to regulate the voltage flow. Then we are giving it to a capacitor which is consists of a 3 volts which filters and supplies only 3 volts of current which is needed to charge a battery. This is a switch in which we can switch on the charge circuit. This is a pin, charger pin, which we are going to give it to a tablet for it to charge. The property of piezoelectric sensor is to sense the sound surrounding the environment and it will convert this sound to electrical energy. Now you can see a series of piezoelectric transducers being connected and which is also connected to a rechargeable battery. This piezoelectric sensor will sense a sound of above 60 decibels and charge the uh, power inside this rechargeable battery. Now we are going to show that there is no power present in this rechargeable battery. And now you can also see there is uh, no charging when we connect the charger pin to the tablet. This image illustrates the piezoelectric sensor sensing the sound in the surrounding which was produced in the video which was shown before. The current produced is being measured using a multimeter. The multimeter shows the readings in millivolts and it requires a minimum of 600 millivolts to store the power in a rechargeable battery. Now after the power has been recharged using the piezo sensors. Now we will show you the demonstration of our battery getting charged. Play the music for almost half an hour so it can charge at least 2% of our battery. Now it's charging. We are going to show you the mechanical charger. As you can see on pressing the piezoelectric sensors, you can we produce certain amount of energy. We need to pre press all the sensors which we are just placed in a scale just to show you how many sensors we need to connect in a series. Now the amount of charge you uh, need to press it almost 10 or 15 times for 2% of the battery charging and that we are storing it in a rechargeable battery. We'll show you what happens then. 
The current produced when a mechanical strain is given to a piezoelectric sensor is being measured using a multimeter as shown in the image. The multimeter shows the readings in millivolts. A minimum of 600 millivolts is required to store the power in a rechargeable battery. Now, after the power has been recharged using the piezo sensors, now we will show you the demonstration of our battery getting charged. So it can charge at least 2% of our battery. Now it's charging. 